Hey y'all, hey, hey, hey. So uh, third time's a charm. I've tried to record this without like putting people's information out there, but yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna do this in the, uh, I'm gonna explain it the best way I can, show you the screens that I can, but still protecting my information and those uh, around us. So um, we're gonna talk today about how to uh, navigate your back office and then also how to enroll a new representative, whether they are already a customer and they wanna upgrade to a distributor or whether they're not a customer yet and they're just coming in as a new team member. Um, so let's, let me share my screen. Okay, so what you do is go ahead and go to your website. So it's whatever URL you created. So that name.tavalifestyle.com. Click log in. Go ahead and log in. You put your five digit distributor ID and back office password. Now on the left panel, it says view my store. So if you click that, this is where you can see what the customer can see. This is not where you shop. This is not where you buy products, but this is where you can see what the customer would buy. Exit out of that. My website, you would just, it, you would see, you know, what the customer would see when they need to, to go to your site. And then on your homepage, you'll see um, activation time remaining. So that's the number of days you have until you go inactive. So you need to go ahead and make sure that um, the easiest way to not fall inactive is to be on auto ship. You have to be on at least one product a month. Um, I use all the products, so I'm on many more than that. And we don't wanna think minimums, but some people need to know that because some people are on a tighter budget or they haven't wrap their mind around the fact that these products do sell, they work if you share them. So um, moving on from there, any important information is gonna be here. You wanna check this daily, just in case it changes. Um, I'm gonna talk about this in our compliance training, but here I do wanna mention this so that you've heard it twice. If you're trying to sell the products or the opportunity, you do not, I repeat, do not mention buzzwords about coronavirus, don't say that, don't say COVID-19, don't say COVID, don't say virus. I wouldn't even say pandemic. I wouldn't even say, um, I wouldn't even say quarantine. You know, any of those words associated with um, that because those are buzzwords to people. It's a very, um, it's a point of stress for people. And so, and you don't want people stress buying just because they think, oh, well, if I get this, then it, it'll keep me from getting corona, you know, that sort of thing. So take that out of your vocabulary as it relates to Tava, because what you don't want to happen is Tava um, has to pass along the fine that they get from the FTC for you saying something or for them to even shut your back office down and say, you know what, you can no longer do Tava because um, you're a liability. So you never want that to be the case. So just take it out of your vocabulary. Moving on, um, compensation plan information. So here it will tell you what um, level you are next, you know, what level you need to reach next. And I love this because um, everybody starts off at zero at the beginning of the month, right? And we're at the beginning of the month and it'll tell you, okay, how many points do I need on my left side and my right side or my left leg and my right leg? Some people say, you know, my gift, leg, excuse me, my gift leg and my pay leg, however you want to um, look at it. But it tells you that there. And then associate, it tells you, um, you know, how many points you came in with to become active. Um, or how many points you, I'm sorry, not how many points you came in to be active, but, um, you know, what your auto ship is as well. Um, active means, okay, well, what did I place in the last, you know, 30 days or whatever? So I haven't placed anything this month. So this month I have zero so far. It's the beginning of the month. 
Um, and then qualified, it'll show you how many people you have active that you've personally enrolled on your left side and your right side. Now, of course, I have many more people in my organization, but that's how many I've personally recruited that are still active at the moment. Okay, so let's move on from there. Then it tells you your volume on your left and your right side and your total. It tells you what you did the last week, which praise God, I qualified as a director last month. And so that will update if you do any production over the weekend or a holiday, the next business day that business is open and the office is open to verify orders and everything, that's when your production will officially update. So, you know, don't worry if you don't see it, but it'll update. It tells you how many points you have on your left and your right side. It'll tell you your volume history over the last, you know, several weeks left and right totals, any carryover. So like, let's say if you, um, you're a supervisor and you know maybe you hit a certain level, then anything over that, it basically tells you, okay, this is, you know, this is my carryover for that, so. But you have to be binary in order to um, have the benefit of carryover volume. And that's on your, your um, your higher side, I guess, your pay leg. I'm sorry, not your pay leg, your, um, I guess you could say your, your gift leg. So um, you get paid on your lesser legs volume, but then the other leg, you get any carryover if you use up points. So how can I make this simple? Okay, so let's say for supervisor, you need 500 points on your left side and 500 points on your right side. Let's say on your left side, you have 600 points and on your right side, you have 500 points. So what happens is at the end of the month, the, the system subtracts 500 points from each side. And then that extra side, your, your higher side, you'll have a hundred points for the next month that carry over that you could use um, to go toward your supervisor rank. Okay, and then your personally sponsored downline, it will tell you who's in your organization and what their production was as well. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so moving on, you got genealogy here at the top. So tree mode or graphical mode, that'll tell you who's in your organization. And as you start clicking people, it will expand to, so you can see, okay, who's on their left and who's on their right. Expand it again, who's on their left and who's on their right. The way you'll know that you've gotten to the bottom of the list is when you see open, um, you know, where you see an open on the left and an open on their right. Then you know, okay, well, they were out of looking at team members. Downline listings, it'll just show you a list of who's in your downline. Um, reporting, you can see personal orders here um, that you've done, new orders placed that you've done. Um, you can see any orders that are fulfilled. You can see your retail sales and you can see how much you've made with the company um, week to week and lifetime. So that's pretty cool. Administration, application placement settings. I'll click that one. So um, here, and my husband's working out. So if that, that's what you hear in the background. So, um, so on your outer left leg, um, you'll see, and then you'll see your outer, outer right leg. As you recruit people, you'll want to strategically place them so that you have um, one that you get binary at first. Binary means you have one person that's active on your left and one person that's active on your right leg of business. And so um, let's say your first placement is set on your outer right leg. So you recruit your first person, put them on your right. Next time you would need to come in here before you recruit the next person and put them on your outer left leg. That way you've got two recruits, but one on your left, one on your right. Now you're binary, okay? So, and then you can just switch that as you need to. Billing information is there. You can change that at any time. Website settings, you can change those things at any time. Um, back office password, you can change that. Recurring orders, um, you can change that if you need to. Um, basically, let me see, I'll go ahead and go there. Okay, so it'll tell you how, how long you have for your back office. So your back office is good for a year. And then at that, when that year comes up, it's uh, $49 for your website. 
and your back office is everything. And then recurring orders. It'll tell you when you're on schedule. Of course, mine is active. That way I don't have, I set it and forget it. And that way I never miss my money. Um, and then you can check the details out there. And then if you need to make any changes, once you made the changes, you can save it. Back to administration. We've got notification manager. So if you want any notification for certain things, you can choose those. See, manage my customers. That'll show you all the customers that have purchased from your website. Manage commission payments. That's where you can choose how you receive the money, whether that's getting a physical check or setting up direct deposit or setting up cash app to, to do it that way. Product catalog. That'll show you the, the um, products that we have. Policies and procedures. Definitely want to know that. And then contact support. It'll show you how to contact the company. Okay, let's move on to orders. Place new order. This is where you come to place your back office distributor orders. This is where your discount will be built in so long as you're active. Um, and then order history, you can see um, your orders. You can even see tracking um, where it says order history. So if you need the tracking number, you need to uh, track. We do use UPS, so that's who we would have. And then uh, home screen, there's home, there's logout. That's it. So explore that on your own. Check that out. Now we're going to move on to how to enroll a new representative. So let me do two ways. The easiest way I'm going to get that out of the way first. So you want to not be logged in though when you are trying to recruit someone. So make sure you are completely logged out and they want to go to your website. So make sure that it's not just the tavalifestyle.com, but it's your website. So whatever you created .tavalifestyle.com. They do not hit login like you would if they're trying to enroll. Um, well, you know what? Yes, okay, if they are already a customer, so that means they've already purchased a product from your website and they want to upgrade to a distributor, what they would do is they do hit login their user ID is going to be the email they used when they purchased a product from your website and the, the password that they created. Once they've done that, they hit login now and over at the top, because they do have a limited back office, over toward the top, it'll say upgrade to a distributor or become a distributor. Click that and it'll take them into how to um, become a rep. So. That's what they do there. Now, if they do not, if they have not ever purchased from your website, um, and also um, you wanna make sure that they are actually your customer, because if not, if they sign up, it'll be with whoever their um, representative is, right? So wanna make sure that you're not taking people's clients okay so what you'll do here is from your website click join now this is what the uh, prospect or the potential recruit would do and it'll say your sponsor will be in your name should be there you always check that then you select the application country the u.s or canada is what where we can recruit at and so then you'll have them check the three boxes hit continue now here's where they, this is mandatory. You have to choose a package to enroll in. Now we um, have $1,200 packs, which you're gonna get the best bang for your buck. And we can really teach you how to uh, double your money from that 1,200, turn it to 2,400. Um, but we have packages as low as $99, which you can see down here for the smart grab pack um, too depending on what people are, you know, what their budget is. But, you know, to start a business with Tava is so economical compared to, excuse me, compared to, you know, your other traditional franchises. So um, they choose that here. And once they've chosen something, so let's just choose, let's choose the builder pack. Cause they are serious about making a dollar. Okay, so continue. And then um, individual or company, some people do have like an LLC that they've set up or an S Corp. And if they are wanting to 
um, sign up with Tava under that, then that's what they would choose. But most people are coming in as an individual. You put all your billing information in. Now the billing information needs to be uh, the same as whatever card you're using. So like, let's say if Sally's signing up but her husband John is paying, then it needs to be John's billing information. And then moving on down at the bottom, my shipping information is the same as my billing information. If it's the same, keep it checked. If it's different, uncheck it. Okay, website and back office information. So back office display name. This is um, what your upline will see or what you will see when you log into your back office and you look at the genealogy tree and everything. So um, that can be anything. It can be your first and last name. It can be a nickname that you like to use. It can be whatever you want there. Um, back office password. You know, just something you can remember. You need to write it down uh, somewhere or keep it in your phone. That way you can remember it. And then website URL, if you can see over to the right, .tavalifestyle.com is standard. So whatever you're putting in is going to be, um, you know, is going to be in front of that. So you can see it populating in green over to the right. Okay, so that's what you would put in there. And then since I'm not putting this in, it won't let me, but you're gonna hit continue. And on the next screen, it will have you put in your shipping information. And it'll also um, have you put in a six digit code. So the person signing up will need to have their cell phone on them and they'll need to be able to receive the text message. It'll be a six digit code um, for verification of their cell phone, okay? That's how uh, Tava distinguishes everyone is via the cell phone. So make sure they have that. If they don't have it before signing up with you or it's not charged and you wanna wait till they've got that, okay? So, and then the next screen that comes up will be, uh, it'll look just like the last screen as far as what product you wanna choose, but it'll be for your auto ship. Now, again, I recommend auto ship, but if your if your um, potential recruit is not going to do auto ship at the time for whatever reason, you'll want to remind them about the seriousness of them not getting commission if they don't do their order every thirty days. Um, but if they don't do it for whatever reason, then just hit continue and they'll leave that screen blank. The following screen will be the pay screen, so. You know, it'll, ha it'll confirm whatever you're ordering and then it'll have you put in the, um, the card information. Again, card information and billing information need to match. And that's it. Once they've done that, you have a new representative. So um, simple as that, very easy. Um, again, this, this way is if they don't already, you know, have, um, have a username as a customer, right? So I've gone over the two ways. We've gone over your back office. If you have any other questions, you can definitely ask me if I'm your upline or ask your upline and just um, let them walk you through anything. But your first three to four times of recruiting someone, um, you'll definitely want to contact us and let us walk you through that. So that way they not only get placed on the right side, but um, if you have any questions along the way, we'll do three way and just make sure that they get in correctly. So if you have any other questions, just let me know. Let me stop sharing that and uh, I will let y'all go. See you in the next training.